Hey, it's been a while since I've done a book haul on this channel, and I recently got a few books. I thought, why not share them with the viewers of this channel? Now, this is not going to be the biggest book haul I've ever done, but like I said, since it's been a while, I thought I should share these books with you. So, first up is Stephen King's Under the Dome. I really wasn't familiar with this book until I started hearing a lot about it because um, it's coming to the TV screen this summer on CBS. Um, sounded very interesting, and I thought, well, that sounds like something I'd really like to watch. But once I found out it's based on a book, then I faced that dilemma that so many people are. Um, do I need to read the book before I actually see the TV version or the movie version of it? So I went back and forth. You know, I'm not sure. Maybe I'll just watch it on TV, and if I like it, then I'll get the book. And I was like, ah, I'm not sure yet. Then luckily, um, one of the new members of Reread Books, a book review channel I'm part of, Rev, did a book review of this. Um, and it sounded really, really interesting. I was like, oh, well, that makes me really want to read the book before I actually see it on TV this summer. Um, so thanks to Rev for encouraging me to read this book. Um, I'll put a link to his review in the description box below. Please check it out. It's a good overview of this book. So maybe if you're on the fence, if you should read this before it hits the TV screens, the review will help you decide. So I'm very excited to read this book. It's a big one, so I'm starting it right away so I can make sure I get it finished before it hits the TV screen. So, Stephen King, Under the Dome. Next up is, um, I recently just finished reading Orson Scott Card's um, Ender's Game. It's one of those sci-fi classics I've just never read before. I loved it. It's a great book. I'm fixing to do a review for it on Reread Books also later this week, so I don't have a link to post in the description box below for that review yet, but just check Reread Books in a couple of days and you'll see the review. Next up, um, next up, I just actually finished reading Ender's Game by Orson Scott Card. Love the book. Just did a review for it on Reread Books. I'll put a link to that review also in the description box below. Check it out. But I love the book so much, I felt like, well, I have to read the other books that are in this series. So I got Speaker, sorry, Speaker for the Dead and Xenocide. Um, I really don't know much about the plots of the other books in this series, but I just enjoyed Ender's Game so much. I felt like, well, i got to keep on reading this series to see if the other books live up to how awesome Ender's Game works. So I got the next two. Of course, I know there's several books in this series, so if I enjoy these two, I'll keep on with the series. If they're anything like Ender's Game, I'm sure I'll absolutely love them. And then lastly... Um, it's been a while since I've read a kind of a science book. Every once in a while I like to throw something in just to, you know, for a little bit of a change up. I've read a couple of Stephen Hawking's books in the past. Um, read a book or two on Einstein. Um, that's one thing I really enjoyed about college, that a lot of the science classes I took there, um, be it biology, you know, chemistry, whatever, um, there'd often be a novel to go along with their teaching class, and I kind of enjoyed finding science books that way. But since I graduated from college, I've kind of fell out of the habit of reading science books. So when I went to the bookstore today, I decided, you know what, um, I'll read a new nonfiction book anyway. Instead of going to the history section, I'm going to go to the science section and pick out a book. You know, I picked out Space Chronicles by um, Neil deGrasse Tyson. And of course, I'm very familiar with um, Neil deGrasse Tyson from various stuff he's on TV. He's very well known. He's been commentator on many shows. Um, I've always found him very interesting, very funny, um, very smart, very insightful. So when I saw it, I had a book, I was like, huh, well, let me see what that's about. And it sounded very interesting. It basically chronicles the um, NASA's history, um, where it's been, where it's going, why it's important, why space exploration is important. That's the subject that I've always found very interesting. So I'm like, hell, I'm going to get this. You know, I really enjoy um, no DeGrasse Tyson, so I'm hopefully will enjoy this book. I've never read anything by him before, so I'm really looking forward to reading Space Chronicles by No DeGrasse Tyson. And those are the four books I got today. Like I said, it's not the biggest one in the world, uh, but I'm still very excited about all these books. So remember to check out the review that Rev did for Under the Dome. I'll put the link in the description box below, and then also the review I did for Ender's Game. Um, I'll also uh, put the link for that in the description box below. And I'll remind you, I'm a part of a couple collab channels. The links to those are always in the description box below. We read books, a book review channel, so if you love books, check that channel out. And then Project Nerdy's channel talks about all things nerdy from books, movies, TV shows, games, anything nerdy. We talk about it there. So 
be sure to um, check that out. Um, if you want to see me doing live shows, you really need to check out Project Nerdy because every once in a while we do a live show there. We just did one recently for the one year anniversary of the channel. And um, coming up, we're going to do a lot more of those in the future on specific topics. Um, later this month, um, I'll give you an um, early announcement. Um, I'll be part of a live show to um, talk about the new episode of Rep Arrested Development that's coming out on Netflix. So if you want to hear about Arrested Development from my point of view and some other members of Project Nerdy, just be sure to subscribe to the channel and you'll get to see the live show. So um, hope you enjoyed this book call. Um, let me know what book, good books you've read lately. Maybe the next time I go to the bookstore, I'll get something you recommend. Hope you enjoyed it. See you next time.